Recording. Screen recording. No SD card. Okay, welcome to now. Welcome back to another video. So it's been a long time since I made a video like this. So uh, last time I did a video like this, I made this 250407 together with their Alta Bustler. And uh, it was a huge project. I was saying I just got <laughs> to sign the board. I'm not going to make PCPs, but I did anyway. So this time I really want to try and uh, do something with the new KaiCat. KaiCat 6, for me it's new, it's not really that new anymore, but uh, I I found this, uh, uh, if you search for C64 X-Ray, you find this page here, and uh, there are scans, um, you can also find the <laughs> uh, the SID chip that was reversed engineer. I think it's maybe it's uh, Wolf, a uh, Wolfgang. I'm not sure. Um, you find top, by the way, and uh, bottom, and they are really great. So the components are removed and everything. So this is the 25406 board, and I've downloaded those. And I was thinking maybe I can use KaiCAD to uh, reverse the engineer. Instead of sprint layout, you saw me use that. It's battery smooth, it's really fast. You can see everything you need to do. So, so. So that's just the beauty of it, but it's not free though. So, so what I want to do here is use KiCad. So here you can see I've already done a lot of work, this peculiar file name. And uh, this is ultimately what I come up with. It's a 300 DPI and uh, we use some technique uh, that I will show you to bring out details where otherwise uh, using only KiCad tools will just show you some of the details. So you can get traces very good on these images. And yeah, that kind of worked. And finally, in the end, after a lot, uh, a couple of days of swearing, <laughs> I found out that I can change, instead of changing the scale, because the scale is wrong in both directions, uh, you can go to something called uh, output parameters here in the bitmap to component converter. And what happens then, instead of uh, imagine you have to scale an image, then you just turn the image into like a uh, anti-aliasing hell picture. Uh, so it was sharp and then you get a lot of gray stuff. But uh, if you fix it here, then you're actually rescaling the vectorized image. Uh, this is what it looks like when I import it. Uh, maybe it doesn't look too much, but... Okay, I didn't save it, but this can work. So it's so a lot of tweaking. And the outline here is from the old PCB. So I went online and I get, go to KiCad and uh, download, uh, install on Ubuntu, because I'm on Ubuntu anyway and nightly development builds. And thank you so much to uh, Matt Harlem, who uh, suggested this for me. And um, it's worth noting that KaiKit merge changed in the development branch to add Bitmap player specifically for this use case. So that's really, really awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm a cameraman and a blogger at the same time. Wow. But then, so I did so, and uh, here you can see, <laughs> this is really cool. Um, the new thing that I added here is the add image. So now, do, 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 thing. now however, it slowed down a lot. Uh, so this is the best I can get. I have uh, reduced the size of the image to 50%. It was 600 dpi, but now it's 300, but that can also work. Um, I turn it also to grayscale. As you can see, if you double click it, you can get up options here, and then you can click the grayscale button. So then I went from like uh, 
half a frame per second or something to three frames per second or something. And then I scale it, but there's no X, Y scaling here. So that's uh, missing. So it, uh, it's, as you can see, if I click the uh, edge cuts here, you can see the outline. Oh, why can't you see it now then? Yeah, there you can see it. So this is the outline from the previous project for 250.407 longboard. This is the shortboard, which I found on the internet, by the way. This is really, really possible. However, that uh, XY scaling that I mentioned is only for one direction so far. So if I go from here to here, it's perfect. It's 0.6 inch, which is the width of a component like this. And down here, it's a bit short to measure, but it's a it's a close, but it's not perfect. Uh, to get a better measurement, we will go all the way down. It's supposed to be a round number, and it's not. So it's supposed to be 1.9. It's quite a lot off, actually. So uh, when you do uh, reverse engineering of these boards using, say, spring lights layout, it's usually done with, um, or it's, <laughs> I think it's only way actually is to scan the board, not use a photo because, uh, lenses, they, uh, they can't do straight lines anyway. Well, you can do it, but then you are a genius. So, and the, the problem here is that <laughs> the scanner isn't perfect in both direction at the same time, or the ratio between the scaling in the X and Y direction is not not perfect. So therefore you need to scale it. But what I can do is I can go into say GIMP or something and then I can pre-scale it <laughs> in, the, in the Y direction and then I can go back again and then I can like scale the whole thing. So to, to make it fit inside my uh, outlined so um, I'm really happy about this I was really happy when I saw this edge uh, thing getting so perfect and uh, also really happy to be on uh, KiCad 6 uh, it's a real breath of new air for me so and I need to figure out that color thing that I was mentioning because when I try to change it I only get uh, the current color theme is uh, read only create a new theme and I've done that but nothing is really happening so <laughs> somehow I need to figure out where I uh, change the theme because I can go to preferences I can go to colors for footprint oh I'm in the footprint editor maybe that's the reason <laughs> so I can try here then if I go to classic okay all right. No, it's yellow. Uh, that's much better for me, anyway. Maybe not for you, but but uh, for whoever made this. But uh, yeah, it's great. I can see what's uh, the gray picture, and the yellow is like artificial edge layer, sort of. So yeah, I'm really happy about this, and um, probably be more videos. This now I actually. I uh, got some interest in this. I would like to make video about it. And um, that is a feeling I haven't had in a long time now. So, <laughs> so yeah. So thank you very much for watching. And um, see you another time. Bye-bye.